Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Jay, the passionate entrepreneur. I am trepping. Today, I'm going to show you how you can get super sharp autofocus images in your Panasonic FZ1000. This is a super cool feature that I recently found out, and I just had to share it with you guys. So stay tuned, and I'm going to get right to the trepping point. Oh, yeah. It's just me, Jay, the passionate entrepreneur. Let's get started. Okay, right now you're looking through the camera of the Lumix F1000. Uh, I got three different objects in front of the camera and they're set at three different distances. So I want to show you how you can pinpoint autofocus and get it super sharp every time uh, through this one cool feature uh, that I recently found on how to use on the uh, F1000, FZ1000. Really, really love it. So. Um, I'm going to set it, we're going to set it up in real time and I'm going to show you how to do this. So, uh, function, you have function buttons on your Lumix, uh, function one, as I showed you on the camera earlier, that's the one that's to me, I'm going to use, you can use any one you want to, but that's the one I'm going to use because as you can see right now, when I press the function key, it set the photo style. I don't necessarily need photo style as a, as a quick menu. So that's the one I'm going to replace. So the way I do it is before you do that, though, I want to make sure I make one thing clear. Um, you press function three. I want to show you something. Um, when you press function three, you're going to see face detection. You need to set this, um, this face detection over to the fourth one, which is one area. You have to set that um, in order to get this, uh, this pinpoint um, rate, uh, super sharp focus. So make sure you set that first. Now, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the menu setting. And I already, I already have it set up, um, the function ready. So basically, it's going to be in the third menu option, which is the, the little um, tool wrench with the C. And you're going to go to the seventh menu, and you're going to hit the function button set. And just click on that. It's going to ask you, you want to settings in record mode or play mode. I'm going to do record mode. And then as you can see, see function number one is already, it's already set to... Uh, the shooting style, the photo style, and that's the one I'm going to change. So I'm going to hit OK on that, and then I'm going to change the focus area set. Now click on that, and then you're done. So um, now you can go back to your, your main menu, and when you click on function, now you have this, this box with full areas in it. And now you can go ahead and set wherever you want the focus point to be, you go ahead and set it. So first I'm going to set it to, I want the focus to be on... Let's say I want it to be on this um, this flash right here. What's so cool about it is if I press the if I go up to it and I press the dial, those up and down buttons it's the same it's the same as where you want the focus to be. But you can also, which is really really cool, you can press. Um, sorry, you can you can roll the dial, and you can get it even more narrow. So that way you can when you hit the focus, it's going to really focus in on that that particular area. So I'm going to just dial in where I want to. And then I have a remote dial, so I'm going to hit press that halfway down. And you see how it focuses on that? And once it focuses on that, I can click it. And that's, uh, you, there's other settings you have to set, and you know, ISO and aperture and all that stuff. I didn't set that just yet. I just completely reset the, the so I can show you exactly how this works. So that's, that's the focus on that. If I um, hit the playback, let me see, I'll hit the playback. And um, I can zoom in on that. You can see. That that part is going to be razor sharp, but you got to trust me on this. And I'm going to um, show you a couple more things before um, before we go and check everything out, because I can I can set I'm going to set the uh, it tell me when I'm in the lighted area. Okay, that's close enough. Okay, so let's say I want to hit I want to go ahead and focus on let's say I want to focus on that pin and get like super sharp on that, because that's actually showing. And I'm going to dial it in a little bit further. Now I can't necessarily see it from this distance here, but I want to show you. I can dial in on that. Is that the playback? No, I right, here's the playback on it. So see how sharp that is? Because I pinpointed it. And what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit the function button. I'm gonna open that dial up a little bit more, and I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna roll it over to J, and then that will be my focus point. And now it's focusing on that. Just wanted to show you how that works because this is one of the one to me. I don't know why it wasn't in a video, but this is one of the best kept secrets 
that I've, I've seen with the FZ1. I'm super amazed by it because it gives you the opportunity to, if your subject is standing still, you can really get super sharp. Um, you can focus in on the face, the eye, the nose, wherever you want, trying to put that super sharp image on, you can use this function. And um, you, it, it's a really, really, um, it's like to me one of the best features I've seen on the FZ1000 to get sharp images. So I hope you guys like it. Got more stuff coming up. Got a lot of new new stuff in tech, in tech, in photography, and entrepreneurship, and the whole nine. So just like, subscribe, um, and I'll keep you guys posted. I'm gonna try to post more videos more often now because I have a lot of more content to to post. All right, this is Jay, the passion entrepreneur, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.